Hi! Welcome to another Blender tutorial. This time we will focus on making doors for our archways. The modeling process is simple, but making game-ready doors has a few design challenges. Let's start with door frame. With cursor in the center of our archway, let's add a plane. In edit mode, rotate it 90 degrees on x-axis. Scale it down and move it to the position. Let's assign material right away. Dark brown color will be perfect for the door frames. Move this edge up and extrude it to have desired shape. Rotate when needed. We'll use mirror modifiers so that we will need to only model half of the frame. Here I'll be having very simple shape for the frame. Don't forget to turn clipping on. Let's extrude the frame. Now remove back faces and add mirror on Y axis. Now onto the door proper. The process is similar. First let's fit the plane to the width of the frame. With two additional loop cuts, I'll be able to match the door shape to the frame. Let's assign lighter brown color to the doors. Those additional loop cuts will define planks of the doors. Let's move the plane a bit forward and add mirror modifier. With clipping turned on, we can extrude rest of the doors so it's solid. Now select all the loop cuts, press Ctrl plus B for bevel and make three parts bevel. In face mode, assign dark brown color, it will act as a fake shading in areas between planks. Now select the inner edges and move them back inside the doors. Planks are ready. Let's add hinges. First, position the cursor and add a cube. The process is similar to before, so I'll speed it up. Now let's add door handle. As before, I'll first use a cube and adjust its shape a bit. Then I'll use torus for the handle. Here I lower the number of segments, size of the torus and rotate it around axis. And let's move it to correct position. Lastly, it's good to introduce some damage and variation to the doors. There are many ways to do it, but here I'll use a knife tool to add a crack in the wood. When making your own doors, go ahead and add multiple cracks of varying size and direction. And also add other types of damages. Last thing to do is to change the pivot point for the door for easy of rotation. Let's move the cursor to this vertex and move the origin of the door to the cursor. And here we encounter one of the design problems for this type of doors. When opened they will clip through the stone. One way of solving it is to reduce the size of the doors or adjust the shape and size of the archway. The other way is to move the frame and the door to one side of the archway. The limitation of this method is that doors will open only in one direction. And the last method I'll show you is to use square doors inside of arched frame like this. 
Do you know other methods to design the doors? Be sure to comment under the video. If you found this video useful be sure to like and subscribe. See you soon.